Unfortunately, unlike other documents that are built into Google Drive, when you open up a PDF through Drive or you've downloaded a PDF of a website and then you save it to your tablet, it doesn't then automatically re-upload it onto Google Drive. Now we will use Google Drive here as an example of a service that allows you to store files remotely because if you're asking students to annotate work or if you're using the tablets yourself, you don't want to keep those files on the tablet. If you're borrowing the tablet, you want to send that back up to the cloud so that you can access it from any other computer. So this video will go through the steps you need to save a PDF back to Google Drive. If you've got your PDF fully annotated, click the back arrow at the top of Adobe Reader and then you can actually close Adobe Reader itself and return to the home screen of the tablet. Now the piece of software that we're using for this will be File Manager. So you need to have that installed via the Play Store. It's a free app and it will enable you to navigate through the file system on the tablet easier than other methods. You will also need Google Drive and that will allow you to upload the file to the cloud. The first step then is to go into Google Drive and if you've got no items at all in Google Drive, you'll see a screen that looks like this. Click the plus icon at the top right and you'll be prompted to add a new something or other. Now we're going to be uploading a file so click the upload option from this window. You'll then get another pop-up appear which gives you different applications that you can use to complete the upload action. This will vary depending on your device and what apps you have installed but for this one we'll be using file manager. So select file manager and then just choose just once as the button at the bottom of that box to open it up. This is what file manager looks like and it actually presents the whole of the tablet's file system. And it might look a little bit intimidating but don't worry the only thing you'll need to look at is the download folder. That's where PDFs will be stored initially and once you've saved them in Adobe Reader they will probably be stored within the download folder. Opening up the download folder, you can see a list here of the different files and the one file I want to upload, the example templated document, is available there. So I simply tap that and that will then start to be uploaded to Google Drive. Once it's uploaded to Google Drive, you can then access this file, including all the annotations that you saved on it, from any other computer. If you then download this file again, it will download another copy of the PDF onto the tablet. So when you re-upload it, make sure you upload the correct and most up-to-date version.